Hey guys, so watch this video here for uh, December, can you believe it? Tuesday, December 1st. Man, this year's flying by. <laughs> in some ways, and in other ways, 2020 has lasted about 10 years, am I right? Anyway, um, the SPY actually, it doesn't look like it did much today, but when we go to 5-minute candles, I mean, it had a pretty good sell-off this morning um, before rebounding. Um, great job in the chat room, a lot of, a lot of great teamwork. Uh, just to give you a few highlights, ACB, let's go to five minute candles. Um, I just called this song over the early high, which was 11.55, when it looked like this. So 11.56, and it really didn't look back and went straight to 12.50. A lot of people uh, played these uh, pot plays, and that was one of them. Um, NNOX, great call by Wayne here. 55.50, which was basically triggered right in here, I believe. Um, second mouse play, I, I think it was. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I don't have it in front of me. Um, and it ended up going all the way up to 61.30. I think there was about 50 cents for us that never stopped out. A great call by Wayne. Also, um, let me double check this here. I want to I want to get, because I, I like to give credit for teamwork, right? Um, I think it was Jonathan L. that put NVAX on Wayne's radar. I think Jake was uh, stalking that too. Um, and so Jonathan L. put it on Wayne's radar. Wayne came up with the 131.50 second mouse idea, which basically triggered right about here um, and ended up going up to 147.50. Um, another amazing call. So there was some huge $16 a share from Wayne's idea uh, to the top there without stopping out too. So that was a good teamwork, um, a teamwork play. And there was several other stuff uh, that we were trading, but those are just a few highlights I wrote down. I'm going to go right into what I want to watch um, for tomorrow. CAAS, just a massive rip today. Um, and after hours, this thing's uh, trading at 12 something right now. Typically, when you get a stock like this, you know, like a low float Chinese play. And I'll show you what happened intraday. Because most of the day, um, this thing, you know, shorts were winning, right? And that often happens on what you would call probably a junk stock. Um, but every now and then you get the afternoon rip where it ripped to new highs. And then when it holds up into the close, um, a lot of times you get after hour short covering as well because shorts are piling in. Um, and the shorts, even, even here, shorts think, okay, that was a nice little intraday squeeze. Now it's going to roll over and they short it and it just doesn't roll over. You get an after hours uh, continuation kind of, right, where you get short covering. And that's, that's pretty much going on right now. Like I said, it went to over 12. It's trading around 12 bucks right now. Anyway, can't ignore the uh, 92 million shares and the strong close. So we're going to definitely watch it tomorrow. Um, R-I-O-T, Riot. Call, oh, this, this is an example of another one I gave an idea on and um, didn't make the watch list uh, or the, yeah, the highlight page, so to speak. Um, but I gave a second mouse idea through eight, which was right here. It chopped around for a while after taking the... Uh, you know, after triggering, um, but it ended up closing at its highs. I'm not sure what it's doing. After hours, trading at 868 right now. So um, this is extended, right? Big breakout, far away from the moving averages, but Bitcoin's been strong and Riot is sort of a stock way to play Bitcoin. Um, and BT, BT is another one that uh, I actually called this one this morning um, as it was curling up. I, I thought it was a, a decent Bitcoin play. Um, and I think I called it maybe over 720 something like that and it went pretty quickly to 780 and i had a nice trade there um, i also traded it in the afternoon somewhere here but it's it's certainly um interesting because today's high was 812 and then you look to the left and you say hey there's an 814 high um not that far away now if bitcoin rallies overnight um this is probably just going to be a gap play tomorrow right probably won't open below that 807 so anyway um sol Recent high flyer just ripped on Friday, then today sold off, but ended up going out above its open. So um, today's high, 827. It's certainly interesting if it takes out 827. You look to Friday's high at 839, just above. Um, in short, though, we have a big day on Friday and an inside day today. So it goes on watch for a third day play. That's a, remember, when you watch my videos, I'm looking for things that can give me an intraday trade I don't hold overnight. So I log in every day, make my money, and then uh, you know go home and cash every night. S I, I sleep better that way. S A M A, um, just a big rip. Um, I'm not sure what ripped it. I haven't looked. I'll look before the morning. But uh, strong close. So we're definitely going to watch that one tomorrow. 
Kern, K-E-R-N, is one of the pot stocks that if pot stocks get going again tomorrow, um, this one's kind of interesting because you do have a potential catalyst not that far away. So that's one I want to watch. Um, H-E-X-O is another low-priced pot stock. Big volume and a pretty interesting daily chart. Um, looks like it's got some room to run still. Now, as I'm saying that, again, we have another scenario where you got short covering in after hours. It's trading at buck twenty-five right now. You do have this this high, this... I guess you'd call this the most recent high right here at a dollar twenty nine. Um, it looks like it probably hit that in after hours. So anyway, it's you know this is this is where scenarios like this would have been interesting to just take at the close because I like the daily chart and then um, you know maybe hold it overnight. But I, I I won't break my rules and do that. So this is one of those scenarios where I might not catch a trade in it because maybe most of the action is going to happen in after hours here. Anyway, it's on watch. W W R interesting daily chart. Um, you had a recent high of 686, and then today's high on decent volume was uh, 672. Um, so that makes this one kind of interesting. If it takes out today's high tomorrow, gets over 672, then we look to the left and say, hey, then it might take out that 686 and, uh, you know, and continue higher. So it is a decent looking daily chart for me. Y-A-L-A, -A. Um, another one kind of like that S-A-M-A, -A, just a rip and a strong close extended on the on the daily but we're still going to watch it because we're day traders right ftft -FT, i actually like this chart a lot you have this high back here of 374 then you've got a lower high here of 287 and then it ripped through that last week um i guess this would have been wednesday the market was closed thursday and then it did this on friday then today curling right back up so um anyway today's high 289 um, if we break that tomorrow, you know, maybe we get through three and then uh, challenge this recent high of uh, 328-ish. Um, I do like the looks of this chart. So that one's on watch. Uh, what else? WYY. Um, big rip here last week. And now you got a couple days lower on declining volume. Pretty good setup for a turn back up. Uh, maybe tomorrow, maybe later this week. Maybe never. We don't know, right? FUV. I like a couple of the um, the recent EV rippers, right? Um, they've come back down into, uh, I should have been watching this intraday, uh, but they've come back down and kind of challenged the, uh, what we call the buy zone, or at least uh, found support below the eight day. Um, this one had a pretty strong close. You got a bottoming tail. So anyway, this one goes on bounce watch tomorrow. So does XPEV. This is a Chinese one, had the big pop and now challenged that, uh, that buy zone. Um, a little bit of a bottoming tail there as well. And then AYRO is my third EV pick for a potential bounce. And that's it. We'll find some gappers in the pre-market to add to this list. Um, there's plenty to watch. I, I could I could throw in this OBLG. I didn't put it on the list, but had this big rip today. As far as I could tell, nobody knew why though. So that's on a chart, but it's not on my overnight list. You know what? In order to not confuse people and start talking about stocks that aren't on my list, I'll, I'll uh, quit babbling. We'll see everybody in chat in the morning.